Live, another edition of What the Fuck, happening in the YouTube Atheist Community and Stick Am Fun, playing Karina's video. No, <laughs> it's right over there. It's right over there, actually. It's in that kind of direction. Um, anyway, um, a mus movie review video. I uh, just did, um, whatever it was, Alice in Wonderland, did Burton thingy. And, you know, she talks really fast and she uses all them fancy kind of movie editor kind of words and stuff. She doesn't say genre, but she almost does say that kind of stuff. But anyway, she seems all knowledgeable about context and history and blah, blah, blah. I mean, she doesn't just go, hey, I thought the movie was a big, fat fucking stinker. You know, she explains and stuff. It's good. Anyway, um, you know, she, it's really good. She's better at this English thing than I am. Very literate. It's really irritating. Damn literate people. Um, anyway, uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I mentioned uh, conference report guy. He changed his background image, you know, just to a couple of, um, I don't know, udders, you know, cow udders, I think they are. Uh, just kind of funny. Uh, you know, I guess he's you know, a sympathetic little protest he did on my behalf. I really appreciate that. Um, and it really does kind of just make it so obvious. And what, what the hell is YouTube? YouTube is being silly here with the Do Not God channel. So I guess I should explain this really quick because people are really confused and they really shouldn't be. There's no DMCA's. YouTube has just changed its policy. So now if your your background image or your icon gets flagged and they take it down, they give you a strike. And so the account got a first strike for my old background icon. And then the second strike is ambiguous. They didn't take down either the background image or the icon, but they gave me a second strike for an image violation. And now I've got a third which is really weird because you never usually see the third strike coming. You know, it's the bullet that kills you and you don't get to see it. Um, because when I tried to sign on to the Do Not God account, um, it was going to give me another strike. You know, another pink slip showed up and I had to approve it. And that would have been my third strike. And that's never happened before. I've never had the option of seeing the third strike and approving it and then having my account blow up. Um, so that's never even happened before, which is really weird. Uh, so anyway, the account basically is... You know, if I would have approved that third strike, I, I, you know, who knows? I mean, it's like this, you know, Halon Collider thing. You don't know if it's going to blow up the world till they actually fire the damn thing up. And so I don't know. If I, maybe if I would have pressed it, it would have blown up my account. Maybe it wouldn't have. I don't know. Um, but I just wasn't going to risk it for no good reason, so I didn't risk it, and I just ran away. <laughs> um, so, but whatever. Um, we'll see. You know, YouTube doesn't usually work much on the weekends, especially with Easter and everything, so I figure I'll try tomorrow, see if I can get something good to happen, get this cleared up. Um, but it really is bullshit policy because it's just so intimidating, you know, to have this threat imposed on you. You know, you you just go anywhere near this line and, and, and who's the line defined by? You know, one percent of the population? Uh, I mean th I mean think about it. I mean, you know, who who is trying to can suppress other people's speech? I mean it's obviously a lot of people are liberal minded, they don't care. You're not gonna offend them anyway. You might irritate them, but you know they're not going to flag you for irritating them. Um, and so it's only these fanatics that they're giving this power to, and it's this power to suppress what you're. I mean, they might as well have Pat Robinson running YouTube, right? Is this is going to be the standard? Because the only people that are going to be able to express their their freedom here are people who don't care, and that's not good. You don't want people who are. You know, I'll just create an account, and I'll be a you know a sock account, and all. You don't want people motivated to be reckless and unconcerned about their standing, or, or you know, their. The, it just that's just really a stupid thing to encourage, um, and also you know, create accounts where you, you only you don't have any content, so you don't care whether it gets destroyed. Um, it's all the wrong incentives they're creating here. They're giving power to the wrong people. They really ought to separate the two kinds of crimes, you know, the real personal crimes where you either steal somebody's content or you, you know, you personally invade their privacy. I mean, those, those offenses ought to be separated from these stupid, um, whatever, community standard guideline -y, the, the, this bullshit of, of, you know, suppressing offensive speech crap. Um, and because I don't, you know, and I don't mind if you want to start putting on scarlet letters, you know, you want to start painting scarlet letters on people's channels. I'll even go for that because I don't. That to me would be a letter of um, um, of integrity and 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 <laughs> quality. Uh, to to be to to be to have Pat Robinson say he hates my guts would make me feel really good about myself. So yeah, um, I, 
I don't even mind that, you two, but this idea that you're going to kill, you're going to exterminate an account for a fucking icon violation? I mean, bullshit, especially when the violation is not anything really obscene. I mean, it's not like a, a, you know, a pornographic animated image or something. I mean, this is just bullshit. Um, so anyway, enough going on about that crap. Uh, so stick him. Oh yeah, I did want to mention the the Chad guy, uh, eleven eight zero four, I think his number is whatever. Um, he was in stick him last night too, and he's, he's made a couple of support videos, and I really appreciate that. So I'm just saying that. Uh, anyway, you almost didn't recognize him. He's growing a little beard and stuff and whatever stuff. So looks a little older. Anyway, um, stick him. Yeah, it was really good last night. I think you know I only stayed for four and a half hours or so, but you know just getting over this cold thing. And uh, but it was it was kind of funny night. <laughs> it was weird. I mean, you know, it moved along, and uh, I, you know, I don't know. I have to come up with a word for these tranny types. You know, the the math fails, and the other guy, black flags or something, whatever his name is, you know, doing the girl thing. And you know, I have to admit, you could almost smell their vaginas. <laughs> I mean, they really were pretty good. Uh, it's a little spooky. And, uh, you know, Zomgitz was in there, and so they were imitating her doing the girl thing, you know, because she's, like, more girly. And, uh, by the way, it was, it was really, it was kind of, enter I have to concede, I was entertained by it. Um, Juliet was even in the rooms, you know, wandering about. She didn't, she didn't get on camera, but, you know, it was good. Uh, just to know she's still around, floating about, a little angel or something. Anyway, a um, good bit of conversation was with Pyro, surprisingly. And, even, and we got on that quantum theory stuff, which, you know, I know some people just, you know, it's like nails in their head. But, uh, yeah, I thought it was a constructive conversation. Uh, we found some um, suitable, agreeable middle ground kind of thing on a couple of issues, which was good to get over with. And uh, then we did some, you know, politics and social stuff, and that was good. You know, rich people suck kind of stuff. That was good. <laughs> um Dusty Foot guy, uh, he had some other name in the room, but uh, yeah, he was pretty good conversation after that. So it was um, it was good conversation night. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I got to say. But yeah, it was an interesting night. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think so. Um, anyway, um, we'll be point out that the I'm doing my Do Not God videos on the Doom Gloom and Boom channel. So I'll post links, 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 links. And yeah, I've been doing feature creatures still, and some of them are pretty funny, I think. I think some of them are pretty damn funny. And, you know, 100 views is pretty stinky for what I think are pretty good videos. But whatever, you know, it's the way the YouTubes work. Uh, but they're worth better than that. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> you know, I, I say they are. It's my damn opinion, damn it. Um, all right, let's see if there's anything else here. No... No arrest to change. I don't know what that means. Uh, so it counts to stretch. Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, so it is a new policy. YouTube never used to give you strikes for the the image violations, and uh, you know this this suppression of speech thing. This uh, this uh, whatever they call it, chilling. It's chilling. It's a chilling effect to to be threatened to to exterminate somebody off of YouTube. There's got to be some other penalty system. Like I said, scarlet letter our channels. You know, do some other kind of, find some other way to um, express your disapproval, YouTube. Um, but annihilating content and creating an atmosphere that puts people in this state of perpetual fear that they're going to cross some fucking line. That's just a bullshit tactic uh, to, 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 to intimidate and, and uh, extort people out of their free speech is is slimy uh, bullshit tactic what the hell is that oh I can't find it <laughs> that's pretty funky oh uh, you know maybe I make that my signature uh, okay anyway that is really outrageous stay oh shouldn't do that my head's a little bit fucked up still got wobbling disease I can't quite get balanced um anyway uh, so, till next time, that's enough, really. Hopefully, it's not too much. Yeah. So, anyway, Karina was good. Probably saw that.